everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this beautiful two-stranded necklace that I made using the Bargain Bead Box for February Violet's Violet Glade. Um, I used some of my own seed beads, but I used everything else. The only thing I haven't used um, are these beads. I think this, and then um, I have that little dragonfly and this um, pendant. There's everything else um, I have used from this box. This turned out to be such a great box this month. So here is my uh, necklace. And what it is, is I, I used a kind of a technique that I used where I just used one long strand. I think it's easier. And then I crimped it up in there and I had that coming. And then I have these little boho pieces hanging from the bottom. So, um, yeah, so if you would like to learn how to make this necklace, then stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we're starting off I'm using this beading wire. I always put it up so you guys can see it. Screenshot it, whatever you want. Now, I have 52 inches. <laughs> Seems like a lot. You could probably use a little less like I said before I like to have a little extra so I'm going to show you what I think would be the easiest way to make this necklace so um <clears throat> I'm just going to you know just string it all down but then have it you know once I get to this part where it fits around the neck then I'll attach the other things and we will go from there so I'm gonna let me see where's my little I like these little um, things the best just for stopping. So I'm going to put some on here. Put some on here. Oh. Now I'm using um, the 11 check seed beads, the aqua amethyst. So they are purple, but they have a little bit of like a turquoise on there. It's really pretty. It's like a hue. <clears throat> and then I'm using Transparent Rosaline 11 O's 2. I'm adding a little bit of pink to this. So this is going to be for the front top part of the necklace. And then when we drape it off down, it's going to come through the butterfly and we'll have all the other things. So let me, don't want to get that in the way. So I'm kind of putting this down on my lap and I'm just kind of working with these right here. So I'm gonna have, I'm um, gonna go with this, purple, and then this, and then I'm gonna, gonna do two of these, and I'm gonna save these last two. Oh, and so I've got six of these left. I've got the bead caps. Now, um, if you watch my unboxing, they ended up giving me two bags of bead caps on accident. So I have like 50 bead caps. So uh, you might have to use some of your own. <laughs> Not that I think I'll use them all. Um, and then I have these. These I haven't used in any of the other, um, what do you call it? In the other, any of my other tutorials or jewelry yet. So I just unstrung these. And then these are the... The Crystal Drop Beads, Jet Rainbow Iris. They had forgotten to send me this pack, and I contacted Bargain Bead Box. They were so sweet, and they sent me this, and they sent me a little gift, too. Some lamp work beads, so that was really nice. Um, I've got one of the little cute little dragonflies. And then I have four crimp beads, two uh, clamshells, and then a lobster clasp, and two jump rings. And I think that's all I'm going to need so far. So we're going to do this. And then I'm going to do that. And I'm going to switch over so it goes to the other side. I will show you it after I do this little section. This is just kind of how I... Uh, I bead. I just think it's it's the easiest way. Okay. 
So I've got these two right here and I bring this all the way down. And this is what I have so far. So yeah, so that's what I have so far. Let me see if I can. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna put a little clip right there. So I'm just going to keep beading these around until they get around my neck. So I'm going to do one of these. Then I'm going to do a pink, purple, a pink, and another one of these. And I can you see how that looks. I'll drag that all the way down. Then I'm going to do a bead cap. I see something really. Yes. Bead cap, a uh, crackled agate, and that. So you see how it kind of looks like that. Now I'll go over to the other side. I clip those just because I do not want any issues. Oh, do you know what? A couple of these beads um, had little like dents in them. I thought I got rid of all the ones that did, but I guess I didn't. I'll put that right there. I'm gonna do that, and then another one. Okay, yeah, I'm any of these beads that have the little dents in them. I'm throwing them out because I uh, normally sell my jewelry, and um, I don't want to take any chances. So then I put on another. Um, crystal drop bead, and then I do a pink, purple, and pink, and then another jet rainbow iris, and then I do one of these, bead cap, crackled agate, bead cap, and so here we have it so far. So this is going to be the front of the necklace. This will look so pretty when it's up. Okay. So now I'm going to do two more. Another bead cap. Another crackled packet. So I'm going to do like a little group of three of them. Then I'm going to do it over here. Did the light one. And then if I do like a darker agate, like this one's a little darker, so I'll try and choose a darker agate too, so they kind of match. They don't totally have to, but... And I always try and make sure that I don't um, pick up two bead caps that happened one time and I got done making the necklace and everything tightened up and I noticed there was two of them in there and I was like fuming because it was one of those really intricate ones that took me a long time to make that looks pretty. And I ended up cracking the bead cap just to get it off and, and you couldn't tell the difference. <laughs> I was really happy about that. Okay, so now we're going to go with the one of the crystal drop beads, do a pink, purple, and a pink. It's just kind of enough of pink in there to kind of give it a little bit of a zazz, as I would call it. And then I'm going to do just one of these purple. Oh. get 
that down there. That looks pretty there. Then I'm gonna do that, and then a pink, a purple, and pink. Hope everybody's having a good day. Hope everybody had a good uh, um, Valentine's Day. My husband had to leave to go for work. He had to go to the other side of Florida, so it wasn't, um, I took my son and his girlfriend out to eat. So we had a nice little time, but I was missing my hubby. Okay, let me do a pink, purple, and a pink. Valentine's Day, it was 35 years ago on Valentine's Day that we went on our first date. We were both, we lived in Illinois, we were both working in Chicago. And um, we went to Bennigan's, that was the restaurant back then. <laughs> it was so cute. And we've been together ever since. <laughs> so, let's see that. <clears throat> pink, purple, pink. <coughs> Sorry, I had to get a <clears throat> drink of my water. Okay. Okay. So, this is what we have so far. This will be the front top part of the necklace, and then the other part will <clears throat> hang down. So we're here. Now we're going to, I mean, some of these pink ones are going over there. Okay. cap <clears throat> another bead cap okay and another bead cap the agate goes through there. Bring that down. <clears throat> and clip that over there. I'm going to do that over here. Do a bead cap. I get bead cap. And then one more bead cap and agate and that. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this up against my neck. See how far I am? I'm almost there. Looking so pretty. So now. gonna do one of these pink purple pink <clears throat> and another one I'm gonna do this And pink, purple, and pink. And let's see. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay, so now I'm almost where I want to be. So what I wanted to do for the very top, I think it'd be pretty, I was going to do... Oh, where did that just fly to? Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh my gosh. I have this so pointy that it's flicking. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to do this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. do one two three four five purples then ten more of the pinks one two three four five six seven three more Eight, nine, ten. We have that there. I'm going to clip that off. And we're going to do one, oop, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> and then, hold on, I have to put it. A few more pinks out here. Okay. I'm going to do 10 more of these pinks. And then we're done with the first strand. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, <clears throat> make sure I have, yeah, so that's, so this is what it would look like. Okay, so. this <clears throat> this is perfect now and I have it at <clears throat> let me see 12 13 14 15 16, about, about it'll be about 16 and a half inches when it's done <clears throat> so now what I want to do is Grab these two, bring these together, okay? And then, when they're together like this, then I wanna drag, here, let me. So you see how these two are together? I wanna drag one about, so they're about, about an inch and a half different just so when they're dangling in the front they won't be exactly the same length I don't like that because I think that looks I don't know <clears throat> I just don't like the way that looks so um I've got that right there so 
Now we're going to take, <coughs> let me see, take one of these clamshells and I'm going to open it up like this and put it in there. Take one of the crimper beads. I'm going to drag it down. <clears throat> now you want to have it so that it's, I can't really put it all in view, but you want to have it so that it's, you know, there's no gaps, but, and it's like that. So now what I'm going to do then, I'm going to bring this, hold on, let me try and turn this the other way. Of course, it always dangles the wrong way when I'm trying to do it. Hold on, let me. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring this back down through that crimp bead and through the hole. I don't know if I'm, yes, but I don't wanna to go through any of the beads. Okay, so now it's down where it should be and the bead cap is down there. So now I'm going to, hold on, let me. I'm gonna bring it down first. Kind of hold that there. It's gonna kind of drag that down. I just want something in there. I'm gonna go now for oh, I have a head pin. It's just like a bigger head pin, but just so it'll go down. So you want to make sure that that's tight enough. Let me see how you. I don't know if you can. Hold on, let me. If you can totally see. See how there's just that little bit of a. See that just that little thing right there. I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna squeeze it. I'm gonna leave that little hoop in there. So when I close it, you won't be able to see it, but it just kind of acts like a little bit of a barrier. Okay, I'm gonna pull on that, make sure there's no, and then I'm gonna turn it so I can close up the clamshell. Let me close a little bit up with my fingers first. You can close up the clamshell. And then we have this other piece that's, let me, that's going to be coming out from that way. I don't know if I'm making sense yet. I know you've already seen it done. So hopefully it does. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Open up that clamshell. <clears throat> Drop that all the way down. <clears throat> Drop the other crimpy down. Now I'm going to, before I take that all the way down, I'm gonna put that through. Make sure it's through both pieces. Let me take this off. Okay. Oh, and I meant it, forgot to tell you too, but I did it when I was Doing the other one, you want the, um, let me keep pulling that up. Okay, you want it to be two so that this one will kind of be in the outside. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but I think it will lay better like that. Okay. So now, just kind of very slow, gently pulling that through. Okay. The 
squeezing this. <clears throat> Okay. I'm just gonna close that up. You don't want to press it too much that you collapse that little clamshell. Okay, so now we have this. I'm not sure if all getting into view here. But you have these two. So now I'm going to one side I'm going to take I'm going to take the lobster clasp I'm going to wrap it around there. Now, I like to use um, my round nose pliers when I'm closing these. And bring it, bring it down just enough in case you've got that. <clears throat> and we have the other. Um, make sure this is totally closed all the way. Okay. I'm going to put the jump ring in. And you can kind of bend it, teeny it back if you want. And then close it up. Okay, so let me lay this the right. Oh, lay this the right way. Okay. So now we have that and that. I'm not sure. Let me stand up and see if everybody's in view here. Okay, so now I'm going to move these back. I'm going to start back with some more of the pink seed beads, and I'm going to do, I might need to get more out. I'm going to do the same pattern that I did with that first side. So I'm going to do 10, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, Seven, eight, nine, ten. I hit eleven on there. Let's do ten. So then that comes right up there. Then we're gonna do five of these. One, two, three, four. Five. There we go. So we do five there. Then we're going to do ten more. Two, three, four, five, <clears throat> six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Do we have that there? Pushes up in place. Perfect like that. I'll put that right there. I'll get me some more of the pink ones. Now coming around, I'm gonna do a different I'm gonna do different patterns that I did. Um, but I just wanted this at the top to kind of look the same. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, let me count. Let me see how many I have there. <laughs> yep, seven. Eight, nine, 
eight, nine, ten. These five, four, five, and ten more of these, two, three, four, five, seven, oh. six, seven. We see how now it's the same there. Okay, so now we can start with <clears throat> do some other random things on here now. I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do pink, purple, pink, purple, pink. Another one. I'm going to go to the other side. How many of you guys have been working, were working on something and you were almost at the end and you didn't put the stopper on and you picked up something and the whole thing fell onto the floor? That has happened to me before. <laughs> I swear it would never happen again. Because I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, so now that's up there. Get some more out of here. And I'm also going to get a few more of these. Fluorite, rainbow fluoride beads. Let me get some of these too. Okay. Put these away. Nope. Butterfingers today. <laughs> okay. So now we have all these, so what I'm going to do, I did that like that, and I'm going to do one of the rainbow fluorites and a pink. Two. Pink and five. So, you see how I've got that then? We've got that like that. Then I'm going to get a few more of these purple ones in there. Like the way that's looking. Then I'm gonna do one, two, three of the purple ones just to add some. And then I'm gonna do another five of these with a pink one in between. And then I will do the other side and I will be right back.
Okay, so now I have both sides done. So I have that right there, and then this right here. So it's landing up right here at that bead. So now I'm just going to start um, layering uh, more of them on. I wanted to do something different so it doesn't, you know, I don't like for everything to look the same on both sides as it would be laying down. So then I'm gonna do one, And do the crackled agate. Two. And then do three. So we have three on this side now. So that's looking really pretty right there. I'm going to undo this one and put it right there. I'm going to do this side. We'll do one. And then two. And then three. Got it kind of laying right here. But there it is right there. There it is right there. So here's the middle. Let me kind of get that. We're almost there. Okay, hold up one second. I'm going to hold both of these sides up. Okay. Okay, so we have that. Okay. So now, let me see if that's right there where I want it to belong. No, I'm gonna get a few more pinks. And a few more purples. I can't find the rest of my little bead caps. I'm looking for them. I know they're right in front of me. Okay. Um. Hmm. What did I do with them? Um, I'm not sure where I just put all those bead caps. Okay. Um, this is kind of odd. I think I put them in. I think I put them in my little container here, maybe. Hmm. What did I do with the rest of the bead caps from this? No, I'm not really sure. Um, hold on one second. Well, for the life of me, I cannot find the back of the bead caps. I think that means it's time to clean up my bead room. <laughs> so, I found these little balls, though. These are perfect. So... Okay, so where we were at, we were right there. So now I'm going to do, I'm not sure, let me see, I'm gonna do this. I just want, want to make sure that the, this doesn't 
go inside of there. No, it doesn't. Okay, perfect. So we got that. We'll do purple and pink. And another one. See so how pretty that looks. Pink, purple, and pink. Okay, so I'm pink, purple, and pink. And I think I'm going to do, let me see where this is laying. I eye everything. So here's the metal. So it's going to start kind of hanging down this way. So then I'm going to do... One more pink, purple, and pink in this ball. And then I'm gonna go to the other side and do that. And then I will see where I'm where I'm laying here. Okay. So there I am right there. Three, four, five. So I'm gonna do that. And we'll do five of those with the pink, purple, pink inside. Actually, I'm liking these little silver balls better. One, two, three, four, and then another one. Pink, purple, pink. And one more of these. Okay. So now if you're looking there. Looking there, we're right there on the edge. And so then what we want is we want it to kind of start coming down this way. And then we'll do the dragonfly like about right there. So I'm gonna do the bead cap. I'm gonna do one of those. And pink and uh, another crack of one and then a bead cap. Switch up the pattern like that. So that looks pretty there. So I'm gonna do it right here. Agate. And bead cap. Okay. There's the fluoride beads. We're going to keep those little separate. So we are almost there. I'm going to do one of these pretties. And a pink, purple, and a pink. Another one. I'm going to do one of these. And a pink, purple, and a pink. And another one. Now, let me kind of just kind of eyeing it. There still needs a little bit more because I hold on one second. This is all tangled up right here. Yeah, 
I want it to hang a little bit more. I want it to be a little more dramatic when it hangs. So now we're gonna do do a bow. And a pink purple pink bow pink purple and a pink another bow okay I'm gonna take that one out let me try and lift this up a little more so I can get it into the there sorry about that I'm so busy working okay so that's where we are right there now we're gonna do the ball oh shoot I'm gonna do a pink purple pink <clears throat> Third one, pink, purple, and pink. Okay, and then the last pop. I'm gonna take these put one on each side now then I'm I've got this twisted over here there we go okay so now I'm going to bring that up with there I'm pretty that's on right I'm gonna hold it up <laughs> there and then So if it was gathering, it would be like right there. So now what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> grab that right there, and I'm gonna do some seed beads. I'm gonna do pink, Purple, pink, purple, and wait, 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 wait. Pink, wait, pink, purple, pink, <laughs> purple, and pink. We got them right down there. And then I'm gonna do a few more. Pink, purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then pink, and then purple, and that's ten. Just down there, and we're gonna do ten down here, and we're gonna attach the little dragonfly. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So, got this. I'm gonna uh, see how it's a little uneven there. I'm gonna attach butterfly up through it. I'm gonna put the stopper right here. I'm gonna put the other stopper just just for uh, you know what and giggles. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it up and I'm gonna look at it in the mirror. 
because that's how I look at everything. Ooh, that looks cool. See, I use the word cool way too much and my kids make fun of me. Um, they're like, Mom, things aren't cool anymore. Okay. So that is going to look really pretty. Okay. So I got this. Taking these off. I'm going to like that. I'm going to put one of them on. And then I'm going to do purple, pink, purple, pink, purple, and bring that down. Because you want it to be able to, when it separates out, you don't want any of the wire to showing. So we're going to do seven. So we'll do another pink and another purple. So we've got that. <clears throat> and this side, I'm going to start with pink instead of purple. So I'll do pink, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, see how pretty that looks? It's kind of mismatched. Then I'm going to do some of the fluorites. I'm going to do... Let me see. Do one. And a pink. And one. And purple. Two. Three purples. Now this these these bottom ones I'm doing totally irregular. So they're not gonna be the same. Let me bring this up a little more into view. I'm starting to. Okay, so see now I'm just kind of working on, once I know that the seed beads are up against that and they're nice and they're tight enough, you know, where you can't see the wire hanging, then I'm just gonna kind of randomly do um, some beading down here. So I got that and then I did save <clears throat> these I pretty much used a whole box this month um, wait to see I'm gonna do a tutorial of everything I made I'm so happy with um, all of the beads for this month I thought they turned out beautiful Three, four, five. And we'll do this. So you see how it's turning out? It's looking so pretty. Let me lift this up a little. Uh, <clears throat> sorry I'm trying to keep all of this in view so see I'm just kind of working on dangling these and then I have um, this beautiful bead here yeah I used the whole box I do have the other two dragonflies. That's right. I wanted to put those at the bottom. Kind of alternated. So I've got those right there. And let me see here. Another fluoride bead. because I can't get to my seed beads. I need to lean my finger in there. So I'm just randomly a couple here and then three pinks. got 
kids. These are so pretty. I think I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do the dragonfly there then. Floyd bead. I love using seed beads, um, these projects, even the real tiny 11 O's, because I just feel like they add so much detail to your pieces. Okay, now I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to get a little more. I wonder if I should put them somewhere else. I'll put them over here so I can lift this up a little more. <laughs> okay. And here's some of the purple ones. Okay, and here's the rest of these beads. Get these off. Definitely be using Finishing these up. So pretty. And then I've got these. Some other kind of on the other side here. Okay. I'm going to do some pinks. Just kind of. These are easier to pick up. So yeah, aside from I still haven't used the green the green beans, the green beans. They give us green beans. <laughs> the green beet. Um, but, um, I, and, and I didn't use that one dragonfly yet. Um, the, more of the main one that's got the angle with the hoop. That I'm saving that for something else. I'm not sure what yet. So, let's see, I've got this. One, two, three. Look how pretty that looks. I wanted to show you, I forgot to tell you, when I do the crimp bead here at the bottom, um, I forgot to tell you, I usually put two of them on. Okay, so let me show you. Where are they? Okay, they're right there. So let me just make sure this is all, this is totally tight enough. Yes, it is. So. What I do, because these are, you know, these are tiny. So I have the first one right here. And I hang it upside down like that so you know. And then I squeeze it. And people looking at it won't, you know, they'll look at it and they won't realize that's a stop bead. So I put that. Then... I do like a couple more beads just so that I have that extra um, security, shall I say. Because it's a lot of beads that it's holding. So and then I will just cut that. Then I take the second one, 
and squeeze that. And so then you have that right there. And then I just kind of cut it like that. You can leave it a little bit of it. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, so I have the one done. Now I'm going to do the other one to see how this is. It just looks so pretty. So I'm just going to start with these and get some more of these little balls here. I try and shorten my videos, but I'm afraid that like somebody's going to say, oh, I missed this part. You were doing this, even though it seems kind of... Um, you know, seems like I'm doing the same thing, but you know, I don't want to put the big one on yet because they're still kind of too close together up there. So I'm going to, you want it to hang, when it hangs down, you want it to hang down naturally. So I'm going to do three purple. Couple pink, two. So see how I just kind of lay it up there, and I'm like, okay, that looks good. I just don't want it to be the same. Well, there's mostly purple on the other side there, so I'm gonna do some pink to kind of counteract that four five six seven like that I'm gonna do a flurried bead right there a silver ball I'll do some more. I'm gonna do some more pink. One. This is the thing about making your own jewelry is you can have fun and just kind of be random in what you make. So I'm gonna do pink, purple, purple, purple. I'm gonna do another one of these beads. Okay. That looks good. Maybe I'll do a couple of them in a row. Three. And we'll do a crackle bead. Four, five, and the silver bead. Bring this up a little more. You see that? Okay. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to do two silver balls in a row. And more pinks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. And my sister got that, and I'm gonna put this beautiful bead here. I'm gonna do another one of these. I don't, I, I know there's a lot of people that use those bead mats and stuff, and I have used them a couple times, but I, especially when I'm doing this kind of jewelry, I like to just kind of lay it down. Where is this hole? Lay it down and just kind of freeform it. 
I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I can't find the hole on that one. Here it is. <laughs> there we go. That's looking pretty. Pink. Doing a lot more pink on this side. Two, three, four, five. And then I'll do some. You want to make sure, too, when you're doing lariats that you have a few heavy beads on there to kind of pull it down. If you had, like, just seed beads, it might not have um, the, the weight to, you know, pull it down so it naturally would hang better, if that makes sense. Um going down there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and then I'll hang the, let me bring this up a little more. Then I will hang the butter, the dragonfly down a little bit lower. So we're getting down like that. a few more of these purple purple pink purple and purple okay so now see when that's laying there now I'm gonna put the dragon flight on so they're not I'm gonna put the ball in front so they're not like right together See how now it'll lay like that. That looks so pretty. Yes. Now I'm going to take two more of the crimp beads like I had showed you. And I'm going to take one right up here. Do that. Put this crimp bead in there. And then I have it holding it up, making sure everything is straight and tight. Okay. I have it right there. Put my first crimp bead. There. Let me make sure. Yes. And then I'll do one of those. Agate bead. One of these. Oh. You know it's a good box when you've used all of the beads. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> there it is. Ta da! Okay, pink, pink, and we'll do a purple. Okay, so got that. I'm holding that. Now we're gonna put this last crimper, crimp bead on. I wanna make sure that I don't crack my seed bead. Give it one good one first, and then I'll go in and really squeeze it. And you could put a little jewelry glue down here if you want. I'll probably end up doing that afterwards. Okay. So, let us see now what these offer. And I don't know if this is twisted or not. Oh, this looks so pretty. Let me attach this. I don't know if it's twisted or not. If it is, I'll have to fix it afterward. But, so this is the finished necklace of all of those. 
Look how pretty that looks. So you've got that, and then this hangs down, kind of lariat style. See, and see how everything is uneven? So it just looks pretty when it's laying. This is gonna be so pretty. So this is my Butterflies Are Free necklace, my boho style necklace. I'm saying butterflies are free, it just sounds. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, so this is the necklace. It'll look pretty when it's hanging up. So I hope you, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll be doing a finished tutorial. I pretty much have used everything in the box already. This has been a great um, box this month. So um, let me know down in the comments what you think of this and if you will make this. And um, all of my social media is below. I also have a link to the bargain bead box. They are going to be sending me a coupon code um, to offer you guys um, for if you want to join. So... Um, Yes, let me know down in the comments what you think of it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.